This storm brings the potential for damaging winds and significant power outages, and local power companies are already preparing for Henri's impacts. Gina Marini is live for us in Westerly with how power companies are working to get the lights on and what you need to know ahead of Henri's arrival. Gina? National Grid tells me they'll be sending out more than 200 line crews to help with power outages. Folks in the area tell me they're preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. The Windjammer Surf Bar is no stranger to Mother Nature. Amy Treffis tells me Sandy left behind more than a million dollars in damage. Sandy took out the whole front wall of the building. Uh, she took out our event bar. It was behind the water slides across the street. Treffis says preparations for on restart Saturday, and his hopeful business will be back to normal Monday. Seriously, just hope for the best. And that the crews from National Grid are out there doing their thing as soon as they're safely able to do so. National Grid tells me they're sending out more than 200 line crews to help with power outages. They'll be coming from as far away as Tennessee and from across the border, Canada. We will have a period of time where we're doing damage assessment. That's where we're understanding what damage has been done to the system, where lines are down, and that damage assessment process has to finish before we can provide estimated restoration times uh, to the public. In case there's prolonged power outages, the power company says now is the time to prepare by keeping phones and other devices charged and have a storm kit ready. We have nothing. I would stop talking. To find out what to include in that kit and how to report an outage to the power company you use, head to our website, WPRI.com. For now, and that was Gina Marini live for us in Westerly. Gina, thank you. Now, if, if Henri lands in southern New England as a hurricane, this could be the first hurricane that we've seen in over 30 years. You're looking at